Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a full-on wear test and first impression on the Smashbox Studio Skin 15-Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I know this isn't a new foundation out at all. I wanted to test it out, see if the claims were true. I was really just intrigued by the word hydrating since I do have a little bit more oily skin, um, very texturized skin. So if you're interested in seeing how well this foundation lasts and how well it wears, then just keep on watching. This is what the box looks like. Um, this isn't a new foundation out. This is just a new foundation to me. So I thought, why not test this out? Some of you probably haven't tried this out before. And I wanted to see how well it looked, performed, and just overall how well the foundation is. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation and it's oil free. Comes with one fluid ounce and I picked up the shade 1.0 and in the box it actually comes with this cute little like sample of their Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So this is like the primer I guess you're supposed to use with the foundation. So I mean, I actually might use this today. That's what the bottle looks like if you haven't seen it before or just haven't seen it up close. And then it does come with a pump, which is awesome. So again, I picked up the shade 1.0. And I actually want to look on the Sephora website and see what the claims are. This retails for $42 so it is a little more expensive and 1.0 is doesn't even say like the name of it. So this is supposed to achieve a medium to full coverage it's buildable and it's supposed to have a natural to matte finish. It's going to stay flawless looking for 15 hours and it's supposed to look gorgeous in any Light. Lightweight, comfortable, exercise resistant, sweat resistant, and transfer proof. Those are a lot of claims for a foundation, so I think that's why I really wanted to try this out. So, let's get right into this. I am going to prep my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and then I actually am going to use this little sample that came in the box. I am going to go in with a sponge and a brush today because I know some of you like using the sponge and then some of you like using the brush. So I'm just going to shake this up, give it a nice shake, make sure everything is mixed well together. Is this supposed to be a hydrating foundation? So that kind of makes me a little bit nervous. It is very runny. As you can see, it's literally dripping down my whole hand. So I don't know how much I'm going to need, but... I'm going to start with the sponge side first. I know it looks like a lot, but the sponge will soak up a lot because I just cleaned it. It doesn't really have a strong scent. I'm not really noticing it as I'm applying it on my face. This is one layer with the sponge. It's not even like medium coverage. I see a lot of my redness right in here. Um, it's showing up a lot lighter on camera than it is in person. So let's go in with the same amount on the brush side. Maybe the brush side will give us a little bit more coverage, but I don't know if it was my sponge that just soaked up everything, so it took away all the coverage, but I don't know. I'm going to use the Morphe M439. This is just like a big blender. This is the brush side. It looks really nice, honestly. Um, it did leave a little bit of brush strokes on the skin, but I feel like if you just pat them out, they go away. It has a little bit more coverage on this side than the sponge, definitely. But I'm still not a huge fan of this foundation right now. It's just not medium coverage right off the bat. So we are going to try and build this up. I definitely have to say that I like the sponge side a lot better. It just looks more seamless. doesn't have those strokes on it. The brush side kind of feels a little heavy. And around my nose, it looks really bad. So I'm just going to go over this with the sponge just to make it look very airbrushed. I'm like, eh, it's kind of good. Eh, it's kind of bad. I don't really like how it's making my skin look. 
to be honest. I don't know. I feel like it's emphasizing my texture. And it's getting really cakey around my nose. So we're just going to move on to concealer. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is a new one at the drugstore and I just did a review on it. And I actually love this so much. And this is in the shade C3. So the concealer did add a little bit of coverage and I'm liking the foundation just a little bit more. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup off camera. I might show you like bits and pieces of it and then I will check back in with you guys before the square test. I'm back and makeup is complete. I do like the way that the foundation is looking right now. It does have some flaws. It's not really full coverage right off the bat or even medium coverage right off the bat when it said it would be medium to full. So you definitely have to build this up if you do want more coverage. I think it looks really good although I did add a lot of concealer on top of this and a lot of like bronzer blush highlight. So I wouldn't say that like the foundation alone is what's making my skin look good right now. I wouldn't say that like I'm blown away by the foundation, but it's really not that bad. So we are going to do a wear test of it. Right now it is currently 3.30. It's a little later, I know. I got a late start today, but what can you do? So I'll see you guys a little bit later. Well, actually in a second, but like time difference later. So I am back and it is officially 10.14 p.m. I don't have my phone with me. I left it upstairs, but whatever. Last time I checked in, it was, I think, 3.30. It's almost been around seven hours of wearing this foundation. And honestly, it's held up pretty well. I mean, I haven't really, like, done anything strenuous. I was pretty much just editing and hanging out this whole entire time. I mean, I didn't really like go outside, go for a walk, do this, do anything, like go shopping. I didn't really do any physical activity. It looks pretty darn good for being on my skin for seven hours. I know a lot of matte foundations that don't last as well as this hydrating one does. So I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm going to zoom you guys in just to see like the full on HD quality type of situation. So this is what the right side is looking like. The only thing that I've noticed is around my nose right there. It's broken up a little bit. Um, it's fine around my chin and on this side it's just a little broken up just right in here but honestly it's really not that bad i'm sorry for showing you my nostrils other than that i think this looks so good i was not expecting this i'm gonna be honest because in the beginning i was like i don't like the way this looks i didn't really like how it wasn't medium or full coverage right off the bat but if you really do build it up and then wait a few hours i feel like it kind of just like transforms into your skin and really just sinks into your skin it makes you look really beautiful and clearly it lasts a very long time because I mean it's been almost seven hours and I mean nothing has even broken up on me and this is a hydrating foundation when usually matte foundations get me at least a little bit oily right in here but this one didn't so maybe that's the key to controlling your oils is getting a hydrating foundation I'm really impressed with this. Medium to full coverage. Yes, it took two tries. Oil free controls oil all day. Yes, I totally stand by that claim. Sweat, humidity, and exercise resistant. I did not test that, unfortunately. Color true and transfer resistant. I do believe it is transfer resistant. It feels very just matte. And um, 
it doesn't feel like sticky or anything it feels really nice in the skin and nothing's really coming up on my hands I definitely think this foundation killed it it looks great I feel like it's gonna last a long time so if you have not tried this foundation already I definitely recommend the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation and if you were wondering I really I didn't touch my face at all I didn't blot I didn't powder this is the true seven hours of wear so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already I would appreciate it so much and I will catch you guys in my next video bye guys